This is a very strangely shaped box for 1022. Usually they're longer and shorter, but hey, this isn't just any 1022 box. This is the new Ruger Takedown 1022. It's a nylon case. It's padded. It it feels it feels pretty nice. Inside it, we got a couple pockets. I'm thinking that uh, these uh, 25 round clips ought to fit in pretty nicely. Down here, you've got the uh, military straps, the mole straps, and we've got uh, a shoulder pad. Back of the case, we got one, two, three, four latch points. And we've got a nice carry handle. You could put the strap on and carry this like a backpack or a bag, or you could take it and uh, strap it to a backpack. Inside we have standard manual for 1022, but you should note that there is this insert page on how to set up the takedown system. We've got one large compartment here. It, it's quite oversized. You could uh, mount a scope on top and still fit it in here. And then here, we've actually got two pouches for the barrel. Makes me wonder why there's two. Well, there's two because there's room for two. Uh, is there going to be some sort of offering in the future where you could get maybe a, he a heavy barrel for your carving? Or is there a maybe like a some sort of 17 caliber in the works that you might be able to get? Assembly and takedown is very easy. The first time you do this, what you do is you, you loosen up this nut here. Then you can take and insert the barrel. Once the barrel nut is loosened, gently slide the barrel into position. It'll mate up, push in, twist, there you go, and then tighten this, this thing down. It's, it's click tight, tightens, and you tighten it down until it's finger tight. And if it gets loose after a while, then you can just tighten it down a little bit more. It's a standard 1022. You've got the bolt lock here. You've got the newer style magazine release. Ten, comes with one 10 round magazine. And we've got your standard Ruger sights with the flip up and the front sight post. To take, the, to take it down, you need to cock the bolt back. That's because the extractor will be in the groove in the barrel. Here's the button. Slide this button forward and then rotate. There's a, this is spring loaded so it pops out and you'll, you'll hear it. It's got very tight tolerances there. So here we see the takedown assembly. You can see that it's a standard 1022 receiver. Uh, instead of having and, it, and it's got the two Allen heads like you find on a regular 1022. But, of course, the stock's different. And there's a bunch of works that add, add that takedown feature. Over here, we have a screw and the barrel band holding this forearm in place. And we've got some really slick machining around, around the barrel neck down so we slide in here's that extractor groove that's what hangs up if you don't pull the bolt back that's why you have to pull the bolt back when you take this down and we got the lock pin again really simple slide it together you want to have those surfaces made up see how there's a flat there and there's a flat here you slide it together so it mates up, push together, and you go. To take it apart, simply reverse the process, pull forward towards the muzzle, rotate, and out.
this is going to be a great little kit gun. Uh, a takedown rifle is something, you know, what, what do you need a takedown gun for? Well, if space is limited, like in a boat or a plane, back of your truck, yeah, that's the type of thing where, uh, where stainless steel and synthetic really shine. You know, that potential for a harsh environment. So the receiver, of course, is aluminum, so it doesn't care about corrosion. But the bolt steel and the barrel steel, so you want those, you, you want those to be corrosion resistant. I happen to have another 1022 carbine, and let's get that out for some comparison. What we have here is a 1022 carbine that predates the takedown model by about six years. Got this around six years ago. The magazine release I have here is an aftermarket magazine release, as opposed to the original that you had to reach in and pull to get the magazine out. The finish on the two guns is a little different. The, there's a lacquer finish on the older carbine and there's a brushed aluminum finish on the newer carving. You know, the, the brushed is a little bit of a matte finish versus uh, the glossy lacquer. I don't know if you can see that in this light. I, I have to say, I think I like the, uh, the brush a little bit better. The trigger groups are very similar. Looks like your standard 1022 trigger group on both, both firearms. Everything else looks pretty similar. It looks to me like it's a standard 1022 action, including the, the takedown screw to pop the action out of the, out of the stock. Here's a shot that shows both carbines side by side, assembled. You can see that the stock detail is almost identical. Uh, no cap here, we've got a cap there. So dimensionally they're, they're an exact match. Neither one came with swing swivels front or back. Not a problem for me. There's a few more close-up shots. We're drilled and tapped for the scope rail that came with the with the rifle. The the fit of the stock. I can get my nail down in there, but the fit of the stock is is very nice, both on the forend and on the, the butt stock. We've got a nice Ruger logo there on the butt pad, checkered. Nice Ruger logo. Not really a pad, but hey, it's 22. I'm not worried about recoil. There's a detail of the front sight. It's your standard 1022 front sight. Little brass on the front, and some some ribbing here to cut down on glare off that sight. Standard rear, rear sight on the 1022. Adjustable, folds forward. I find that I need to fold it forward to get it in the pouch when I put it away. Very handsome rifle. Really looking forward to taking this out. Uh, doing a search, search on YouTube. There's another 1022 takedown video uh, by one of the more prolific YouTubers out there, and uh, Gun Blast. And he's got some test groups on that. I, uh, I'd recommend checking out his video because it's very well, well made, and he's got some test groups with different ammo showing very good accuracy. I'm looking forward to trying out this thing at the range. Obviously, I haven't, otherwise I'd be showing it. I'm thinking that a uh, small scope on top, like a Bushnell TRS-25 or something similar, a little red dot sight would make this pretty fun, or something, you know, something in the one to four or two to seven range. That's usually about right for a rimfire for me. The weight of this particular rifle unloaded is 4 pounds 10 ounces. I have a side note on this particular 1022. The scope mount was put on by Chief AJ. There is the Chief's logo. Great guy. Really enjoyed working with him. I sent the barrel and I sent the action to him and he tuned up the action and he mounted the mounted this scope rail in the forward position so that I could have a Scout 1022. This 1022 is a lot of fun. Optics on the Scout rifle is a very inexpensive BSA pistol scope that has uh, enough eye relief that that it works as both a pistol and a and a Scout scope. Thank you all for watching the video. 
good shooting. Stay safe.